Welcome to the second part of Corona 10 New Features and Functions. In the previous session, we talked about the first four features. And in this video, we will see the remaining three functional features together and check their changes. So don't miss this video. Hello, welcome to Mimviz. Let's start with Caustic. This version of Caustic is more accurate and brighter for renderings with 4K resolution and more. This feature is very useful when we need close-up renderings with details or artistic renderings that require this effect more accurately. Remember that the resolution must be 4K or higher to use this feature. Let's go and take a look at it in the window. We open the render setup and in performance we can activate the Caustic Solver. From the Objects section, you can specify which objects are included in this effect. Remember that the light that creates this effect must enable the Generate Caustic option. And the sixth feature, it is called Direct Sun Color and Affect Clouds. What does it mean? That is when we use sun and corona sky in our scene. By changing the color of the sun, we can also apply that color to the clouds. Let's go inside the scene and see how it works. Here we used a sun and a corona sky. Well, the clouds are also activated in this part. As we can see in the rendering now, without any problem, our sun is working and the sky is there along with the clouds. But let's see what has changed. In Corona Sun, when we set the option to direct input in the color section, we can attribute that color to the clouds and create different states by changing the color. I choose a region so that the output can be seen faster. Here we set a dark orange. We can see that this color is simply affecting the clouds. Besides, you can get better output by reducing the skylight. Now we have reached the desired light without placing the sun in the setting position. You can also add a dark navy color. We can see that the color is also affecting the clouds. We reduce the saturation and make the color darker. You can even add more strange colors and create very different themes. Here, we choose the light of the sky to be low and the purple color so that you can better understand this change. It is easy to attribute any color theme to the sky and clouds. Well, let's go to the latest useful feature of Corona 10, the cameras inside volumes. Now our camera can be freely placed wherever we need. He wants to be next to the fog between the clouds, 
underwater, or even on the border between under and over water. It can even be inside a fire or phoenix. All this is now possible. We can put the camera inside any volume we need. Here we see that we have an object that is supposed to form the fog on the water. And we gave him volume MTL material. Now the camera can be placed in this space and rendered. Before we had to move the camera carefully to get the desired result. Or the intersection with the volumes would cause problems in the rendering. But now this feature is provided and we can place the camera wherever we need. This is one of the seven most used functions of Corona 10. I hope it was helpful to you and you can use it very well. These features help us to reach the outputs we need more quickly. Thank you for being with us in these two parts. Be sure to subscribe to our channel. Bye until the next tutorial.